everybody. I've had some questions about the Luther Works essay already, so I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about it. Um, all right, so up on the screen, I have the description of it. All right, um, so what you need to do is pick one of his writings, and I'm going to show you how to get to Luther's works here in a second. Um, it's right on the Moodle page and actually in the syllabus, as you can see. Okay, so what you're doing here is it's short. It is a short essay. It's only three pages. All right, so that's about 750 words and when what I want you to do is think about using this writing to write something for a non-specialist audience okay so like a church newsletter or blog that's sort of how I'm framing this okay so you need to be able to translate Luther's ideas into words that a non-specialist audience will understand okay um, part of the reason I do this essay is you come to a seminary you get like all these ten dollar theological words and then we don't really ask you to translate them back um, so people can really understand what you're talking about so that's what the main idea here so if you write me like a really scholarly um, essay directed towards me you're not going to get full points all right so let's look at how to get to Luther's works because it it is a little confusing all right so you go under course resources link to library electronic texts including Luther's works you pull it up right here we got a picture of the guy uh, here's the English version uh, you of course do the German if you're feeling really ambitious <laughs> but I doubt many of you want to do that all right and then here we go. It has all of the volumes. It has uh, 55 volumes on here. Um, there are also physical copies in the library if you live near campus and want to stop by. It's like the big red books in the reading room. And then there's some on the third level of the stacks, too, that you can actually check out. Okay, so let's go to 43. There's a lot of good stuff in here. All right. You just click on it and then you look at all the different writings in here. And so what you need to write about is one of these writings within a volume. Don't pick a whole volume. That's way too much. So here, uh, in 2020, this was a really popular one. <laughs> Whether one may flee from the deadly plague. All right. And then you read it and then you write this kind of little newsletter to a either your real congregation, if you want to use it twice, or your fictional congregation um, talking about what this means. All right. And how they could use it in their life. Um, all the things like that. All right. Um, yeah. Here, let me just, you know, what's what's the context? Why is he writing this one? You know, there's a plague coming through Wittenberg, uh, around the plague. What was the function of it? How might your parishioners relate to Luther in this particular writing? Um, how, must, how might they use it in their spiritual practices? Why does this matter for their faith? You might not be able to answer all the questions in the essay, um, but those are some starting points. All right. So uh, if you have other questions, please let me know. But just remember, you know, it's only three pages. You can't do that much in that short of a space. Um, and if you have other questions, please let me know. All right, everybody. Thanks.